it's a disaster still. But we're gonna just ignore all of it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey if you are new here and if you are not new, I really appreciate you sticking with me through this little hiatus that I took. Um, I will say that these past three months have been some of the most transformative months in the last few years that I've experienced, um, but that's okay. It's good, good transformations. As you can tell, my background is different. So we moved, first of all, we moved into a house. Um, I was in an apartment, now I'm in a house, which is really nice because I have a dog, so she loves it. So that's the first big thing. And then second thing is, as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm just gonna sit down and do a little about me and kind of share where I want this channel to go. I've kind of done like a little overview on my Instagram, which if you're not following me over there, go ahead and jump on over there um, and follow me. But I did like a little overview Instagram post yesterday when I'm filming this, um, kind of just stating to not only myself, but everybody out there that I am done being this scared little like 13 year old girl that's scared to post anything and I'm just gonna post. Um, I have let a lot of my childhood stuff kind of come with me into my adult life. So I thought it would be kind of a good idea to just make this a permanent video on my channel of the things that I have, just a quick overview. I mean, if you guys want more details, I can give more details, but I'm gonna give just like a quick overview of big events, little events, just kind of what got me here and where I want to go. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into this video. Also, if you like this type of content, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Thanks. I have my notes. I know this is about me, but I filmed this once like a few months ago and it was like 45 minutes. I broke down crying. I really just, I didn't like that video. So I have notes that are just kind of going to keep me on track. Sorry, I have something that's bouncing everywhere. I don't know, I built this desk, could be janky. But, okay, so first of all, I grew up in San Diego. I went to high school out there and then I did move to Arizona for college. I was a cheerleader in high school. Um, I did hang out with the popular group. I don't think I was popular, but I did hang out with the popular group. I, my freshman year of high school, I had one boyfriend and we broke up and he kind of took all of my friends with him. So I couldn't go to school. I could go to school. I could go to school. But I was crying in my mom's bed every single morning. Um, and I hated, I hated school. I was terrified of school. So my parents did me the biggest favor and they pulled me out of high school and they moved me to a charter school. If you don't know what a charter school is, you really only go into the facilities like once a week and you have your homework, which you have an entire week to do, and then you sit down with your teacher, you go over it one-on-one, -on -one, and I really enjoyed it. I did really well there, and I kind of was able to separate myself from that situation and kind of get on my own two feet. Um, I did go back to the original high school my senior year, and I don't regret that. It was one of the best years of my life. Um, especially because that following summer, so we graduated in June, I think like June 7th, June 7th of 2011. Um, and July 18th of 2011, we did, we, I say we, my entire friend group, we were on good terms, um, but our entire friend group, we suffered the traumatic loss of one of our one of our best friends, one of the core group members, um, I can go more into that, but for now we'll just leave it. It was a very traumatic and sudden loss. So we're in July of 2000, 
11. I'm going through all of that and I leave for college in Arizona in August. <clears throat> so June, I graduate high school. July, I lost a very close friend. And August, I'm moving to Arizona. I'm moving out for the first time. All of this is happening. So I almost left Arizona State many times my first semester. Um, I was scared to be alone. I miss my family. I was in a very weird spot, um, but I did end up getting a job at a restaurant there and I completely integrated into the college life and I loved it. Um, I did have one serious boyfriend kind of throughout college and we did break up towards the end of college and that was very hard on me. Um, so I decided to just kind of pick a place on the map and move, which I ended up picking North Carolina because I had an uncle that lived out there and it had always been really pretty. And I had actually chosen to move with my one really good friend. This is probably one of the more shitty things that I've done in my life. And I feel horrible about the way that it went down. Um... But I was 21 and I was stupid. So I had planned to move out to North Carolina with one of my best friends. I don't think we hadn't leased an apartment or anything. Um, we were kind of just talking about it. And I made the decision that I didn't want to move with a close friend. I am an only child. I'm the type of person that... I do get annoyed with people very easily and I didn't want to get annoyed with her and have it ruin a friendship and we're stuck in North Carolina and we hate each other. So I made the decision to move with a girl in my sorority that I really didn't know that well. Um, she was friends with my friends. She, I had known of her, like she'd been around, we were in the same sorority. So like I knew who she was and we had gone to dinner a few times and she wanted to move out there. She had her own personal reasons for wanting to move out there. So I made the shit decision to drop the friend and move with the person I didn't know. Understandably, that original girl, she really didn't like me. I tried to explain to her my side of you, but she just, I, I get it. I do get it. But that really, that that was really hard on me too. She was one of my best friends. Um, so anyway, North Carolina. I am 20, 22, I think at that point. Um, I'm working five days a week at a leasing office. We, me and this girl that I moved with, we, I had leased the apartment under me because I was working for the company. So... We were getting a pretty hefty discount on our apartment. So we moved out there. I'm working five days a week, nine to six, nine to six. And I don't have the energy to go out on weekends because if you've ever worked in leasing, you know that your days off usually aren't Saturday, Sunday. They're somewhere in the week, they change, they're random. So my days off were always like, Tuesday, Wednesday or whatever. And she was just in a different place. She was a few years older than I was. She had the ability for her parents to kind of just pay for her living situation. She wasn't really rushed to get a job. Um, so she was able to go out and she was able to make friends. She was able to really establish her life out there, but I wasn't. I was kind of left in the dust. She did invite me, but it was Friday, Saturday nights when usually I had to work. And I, if you, and I just, I couldn't rebound from alcohol anymore. Like I could in high school. Um, but we were just in two completely separate stages of our lives. I really wanted, I really wanted a friend. I was, Really, I think just searching for a friend and we were just on two different pages. So six months in, I think I made the decision that I was going to move back to California. This was a very hard decision. 
I was on the phone with my parents every single day. I, that's the only comfort that I found. I did hang out with some people and I did have a few friends, but it was just like, I was, I was on a completely different level. Like I would go out, but not very often. I just, I wasn't in the going out phase anymore. I don't know. I'm a, I'm a 45 year old man stuck inside of a 28 year old girl's body. So that's kind of where I was. So I moved back to California and it was one of the best decisions that I have ever made in my entire life. I lived with my parents at the time, which sucked, but I got a job in the restaurant industry there, just kind of trying to get my feet on the ground and I met Ryan. So when I met him, I was not looking. I was not looking, I was off, I was just head to the ground, just need a job, need to get money, I'm moving somewhere else. I'm not staying here, I'm leaving. Um, and I met Ryan and that kind of completely changed my, my life course, honestly. We moved to Central California we lived there for a few years and then we came out to Colorado so he could pursue aerospace engineering. He's doing great. He's got a project with NASA. Um, he's doing amazing. He's killing it. And I'm in a phase of my life where I have the opportunity to invest a little bit more time in this, in what I've always wanted to do, I started the YouTube, my YouTube channel a few years ago. I never posted anything. I never did anything with it. I started it when I was going to charter school in high school. That's when I started really kind of watching YouTube, getting involved with YouTube. Um, so that was back in like 2008, 2009. And I was always scared of what kind of judgment I would be getting, um, what kind of comments. I have, I was so conditioned to being bullied that I already expected it before it even came. So I have been too timid and I still am timid. I'm 28 and I have this little girl inside of me that is still so damaged that I am trying to focus on fixing and I can't fix her, but I just, I want to make her happy. I want to make her proud. I want everything that she has gone through to be worth it. The reason I wanted to sit down and film this video because not only is it a promise to you guys, but it's a promise to myself. It's a promise that if I put this on the internet, it's going to happen because people are going to hold you accountable and I need that. And I want to do this and I, I just, it's been a hobby and I've been too scared to do it. So with all of that said, 14 minutes in, um, that is my overview. I, like I said, I can go into details about more situations. If you want, drop questions. I'm more than happy to answer them. I'm a very open person. So right after I said 14 minutes in, stopped recording. Um, okay, so we were left off with where I want my channel to go. So basically what I said in my Instagram post yesterday is that I'm done being scared. I'm done kind of thinking about things too much before, I mean, obviously, like normal things. I feel like the angle changed, sorry, let me change it again. I don't know if that's better or worse, but anyway, my place on the internet is gonna be just things that make me happy and things that I hope other make other people happy. I am, I started struggling with mental health at 13, I think and I'm 28 and I'm still struggling with mental health. Um, and I'm forcing myself to go outside of my comfort zone with this channel and with my Instagram page. And I'm proud of myself. And I think that we need to start pushing ourselves a little bit out of our comfort zones so we know what we're capable of. And that's what I'm gonna do. So content moving forward. Um, I want to post just my workout cause I need to stay accountable. So that is kind of me 
posting daily on Instagram, that is my accountability. Um, videos, I can post my workout videos. I am not a personal trainer. My form may not be the best, um, but I'm more than happy to post them. Uh, I wanna post makeup videos because the make doing my makeup, playing with makeup, getting makeup, 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 makes me happy. Um, skincare, I'll talk about skincare. I'll talk about my favorites, talk about all the random things. And that is where I just, I want my mark to be. I want it to be a happy, positive space, but I also want it to be a safe space where if I am feeling the feels, I can go onto my Instagram or YouTube and I can talk and there is a supportive community around me. Because I think that's what I've been missing my entire life almost. And I have a very small group consisting of three people, Ryan, my mom, and my dad. Um, and I think that that needs to expand. And I'm not saying that I'm gonna make the best of friends here on the internet, but it's gonna push me out of my comfort zone, which will help me in my personal life and help me start coming out of my shell. I hope that you stuck with me this long. I hope that that video made sense. I hope that we form a community here that is a safe place for anybody who is going through it. I don't want anyone to ever go through what I went through. So if I can help one person just feel safe or just feel heard, that is my goal. And right now, I, I think the best way to do that is through social media. And I hope that you guys will follow with my journey. I know that I'm not, I'm not good at this, um, but I'm learning and I'm trying. I'm trying really hard. So I hope that you guys will stick around with me. And yeah, go ahead, leave a comment down below if you are excited for where I am trying to take this, where I don't know how huge it's gonna grow. I mean, I hope it grows. I hope a lot of people see this page and they come and they like it and they enjoy my content. But if it doesn't, then at least it's a safe space. Anyway, with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, this is kind of setting the platform for me moving forward, this channel moving forward. So I hope that you guys stick around with the journey and it's gonna be a journey, but I'm excited. So don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video if you feel like it's worth sharing. If you wanna bring people to my channel, I really appreciate it. If not, that's okay too. I just really appreciate you guys being here. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.